Hey, Len Erickson here with another Purveyor of Light Lightroom Quick Tip. Uh, today we've got an actually fun one, uh, and you're not going to believe how easy it is. Uh, a lot of people disregard the power that is built within the Lightroom module. Uh, you can do almost 90% of your editing needs uh, within Lightroom uh, without the need to go to Photoshop. Uh, so let's take a look at this picture here. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to actually use Lightroom to uh, do a rather advanced color correction, blending, and uh, remove sunburn, maybe even give them a little bit of a tan. Uh, we can see here on the picture I've got up here, I've got a, a gentleman here with a pretty good uh, sunburn. Uh, he's got the V-neck line going here, uh, then a relatively pale uh, upper body skin tone. Uh, definitely would require work normally people would turn around and say okay that's it got to go into photoshop you know make a half a dozen layers use masks blend it together do some curves and all this work to try to accomplish this uh, what i'm going to show you today is don't discount lightroom okay the more you become familiar with it the more you're going to realize that there's a lot of power and it's not going to work for every photo in every situation but there are situations like this one here where I think we can actually save this photo and actually remove his sunburn, uh, even out the tones, blend them together, and maybe just give him just a little nice little tan, very slight, or at least very bring his color back. All right, so in order to accomplish that, I'm going to go ahead and in the develop module, I'm going to jump down to the HSL module, okay, and open that up. Now, in the HSL uh, library, we have the hue, saturation, and luminous. Uh, so you have the hue, saturation, and luminous sections. If you're not seeing this, uh, you can just simply, you're probably by default looking at it this way with hue, saturation, and luminous. I just like to have them all open at once, so I hit all, and that opens all of them here, so I can go ahead and work with them. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is analyze the photo. What's going on? Okay, for this gentleman here, we've got a lot of skin tone red. red. Skin tone also has orange. And the other feature of skin, of course, is luminance, how bright or how dark it is. I think if we just concentrate on those three things, I think we can actually fix this entire photo and never leave Lightroom. So let's go ahead and try. So the first section I want to work with is the hue section. So I'm going to go up into the reds. And I'm going to try to bring it in and slide it over. Now, you see here, I can preview. I'm going to the left, goes more red, and to the right, less red. Okay? So, I can just slide back. And again, there's no right or wrong value. I'm looking as I'm sliding the sliders to see the tone. We can see the tone that I have made it. I've already given the guy a nice little tone. Instead of a sunburn, he now has a tone. Now, we also have to adjust the oranges a little bit here because there are oranges in the skin. And I'm going to just decrease the oranges and push them up to about there. Okay? Now, saturation is our next section. And I want to desaturate the reds. So I'm going to come in and I'm going to move. See, the more I left I move, the less saturated the reds come in the skin. And to the right, the more saturated the skin. So I'm going to go ahead and jump in, and I'm going to keep moving the slider. And again, this is a visual uh, visual correction. And I'm going to say about there for the reds. And we've got to do the same thing for the oranges. Let me see here. Slide the sliders back and forth until i got a happy number. Okay, that's not looking too bad. We can still see a, a faint trace here of the neckline, but we've really improved the sunburn itself, and we've evened out things. So let's see if we can take it to the next level by going into the luminance section. And again, brighten up the reds, which will lighten them up. Okay, and I can go in and pull it all the way over. That's a little, probably a little too much. I'm going to say, look at that. We've, we've blended that, and now let's take the oranges. And let's drop the luminance on the oranges just ever so slightly. Okay, there we are. Now, again, 
We didn't go into Lightroom. I mean, I'm sorry. We didn't go into Photoshop. We didn't have to go make through all the layers and everything. And look at the blending that we did in the photo. We've fixed the sunburn. We've evened out the skin tones. We did it all without masking. And it's not bad. It's not perfect, but it's not bad. So let's see the before and the after. The before, severe sunburn and the neck and the after. I, it's quite a difference, and we did it all within the Lightroom module. Okay, so let's go ahead and do another photo. Okay, so here we have something, again, all too common in summer. Uh, we have tan lines, burn lines, uh, sunburn here. Uh, what can we do? So, again, same skin tones we're going to be dealing with reds and oranges and luminance so we start up with the reds and i look and i pull and i go oh, that takes the reds out so i'm going to take quite a bit of the reds out on this Ooh, okay i'm thinking that looks pretty good skin tone there and i'm going to go ahead and take the oranges and that's a nice skin tone we're looking at there and we're still i know we're still a little pale in here where the sunburn was uh saturation all right, so we're going to saturation. We're going to desaturate this. Okay, we're going to desaturate it quite a bit. I'm going to say here. Yeah, that's about pretty blending pretty good now. And now the oranges, I'm going to go ahead and boost them up until we get a nice blend. And that's about bad. Lastly, luminous. Luminous. Okay, so we're going to lighten and darken. We're going to boost it up. And I'm going to say right there. See how we're blending in? And let's take the oranges and let's move them out. And there we are. And maybe, I don't know, maybe there's a little yellow there. I'm not certain. But... Yeah, there we go. So there we are using the same exact technique. I have blended it in. Here is the before and here is the after. The before and the after. Again, so there we are without any complicated layers or procedures, just using the built-in tool and the HSL panel within Lightroom we were able to turn around and take a very badly sunburned person, uh, remove the sunburn, even the tones, blend that in with the tan lines, and we had a really nice final effect. Well, that's it for this week. So I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please visit my YouTube channel and uh, please subscribe. Uh, and I love the support. I love to hear comments from everybody. And uh, if I don't talk to you guys between now and then, you guys take care.